Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This is going to be my Legends of Tomorrow episode 2 video. It's like part 2 of the pilot. You, you get the sense that they made this TV movie that's 2 hours long, even though there's 16 episodes. So just careful for spoilers if you haven't seen it yet. There is a new round of the Reverse Flash Ring giveaway that's going on now. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. So top 5 WTF starting with number 5, Team Wave Rider versus Black Market Arms Sale. So much fun here, and you get the sense from the team that they've forgiven Rip Hunter. At the end of the last episode, they were all just like, WTF dude, why did you lie to us? Why did you have to tell us that nobody gives a shit about us in the future? So they jumped over that hurdle, and Captain Cold takes charge. Like, these aren't our people, but we're going into a meeting with a whole bunch of criminals, and that's what we do. So naturally, Captain Cold would take charge. International time-traveling man of mystery. He can also read foreign languages, too, that the rest of the team can't. Like, he's like, give me that, I'll read that. Heatwave calls Damien Dark a Nazi, who is also there. Remember, he's really long-lived, has access to waters from the Lazarus Pit, who is very pissed to not know who Martin Stein and his crew are. I know everybody, and I don't know you. Who the hell are you? He is kind of dressed in one of those Kim Jong-il dictator outfits. Martin Stein's mouth gets them into trouble, which is just the beginning of the episode. His mouth just keeps running through this entire episode. It's a big episode for Martin Stein, like a big arc for him, coming to terms with who he is. Also for Captain Cold, Hawkman, and Hawk Girl. They had the biggest arcs in the episode. But this opening scene is just this great action sequence. The Atom just immediately miniaturizes and tries to jump into the warhead, but in doing so, leaves behind tech for Vandal Savage to find and try and reverse engineer. So number four WTF. Vandal Savage gets his hands on future tech and they show the future, this post-apocalyptic central city, based on what happened. So depressing, but it serves as an explainer for how time travel works. So they accidentally derp in the past. Vandal Savage uses the tech to create a dangerous weapon to change the future, but it takes a while for it to set in stone. You pour concrete, it takes a little while to set. And they also explain, it's kind of getting into Flash territory now with time travel explainers, that if they were to go back to an event that they participated in, there'd be a paradox, time would fold in on itself, which isn't exactly what happened on The Flash this week, but it makes me think about Barry's mother's murder. Like, Barry going back and interacting with a past self who was also back with his child self. Way back in the background, I can hear some of you guys whispering Flashpoint paradox. Probably the coolest moment to come out of that opening scene, though, aside from all the great jokes, was Firestorm unlocking a new ability, being able to absorb nuclear blasts. So you'll see him do that more and more across the series, like learn to unlock new abilities based on stuff that Martin Stein explains, scientific principles. One of the big things we haven't seen yet is transmutation. We haven't seen Firestorm turn objects into other objects, so I'm looking forward to that. On to number three WTF, fixing Ray Palmer's derp. They have to go meet young Martin Stein at age 25 at Ivy University. Big location from the comics. The Ronnie Raymond Firestorm in the comics is a student at Ivy University. His professor is Ray Palmer, who on the TV show was the student of Martin Stein. But smoke if you got him. I guess it's the 70s, so we got a bunch of weed jokes, which is kind of funny. But I do like White Canary flirting with him and him flirting back. I wasn't flirting with you. You were flirting with me. Really the best comedy in my mind is just watching Martin Stein argue with his younger self. Like they just start yelling at each other. It's all about him coming to terms with the idea that he's been an asshole for the last 40 years. And even though Jax is meant to be the jock character, like the character that doesn't know anything about science, he's the big call to action for Martin Stein. So I'm, I'm really liking those two characters together. Just like on the other side of things, number two WTF yep, breaking into Vandal Savage's house for Captain Cold and Adam scenes. Very awesome moments. Them talking about how things might have been, you know, like if their life had taken a different path. One of my favorite moments in the episode. You could have been an electrical engineer in another life. I'm a survivor. One day you'll wish you were too. Very ominous, but there's a lot to unpack from that scene. One, I do think that we'll eventually see an Earth 2 version of Captain Cold. I'm hoping they do Citizen Cold from the Flashpoint storyline, where it's like a good version of Captain Cold that's an upstanding member of the community. And you get Ray Palmer, who's kind of like a Boy Scout that just rushes in like, oh, I know this alarm system. My parents had one just like this. Retard, it's a dummy. He's probably going to find himself in a situation when he's going to have to do something that isn't super noble in order to survive. You get all these different hero and villain characters together. If they spend enough time in close enough proximity, their personalities will start to bleed into one another. So crazy heat wave will balance out a little bit and the really lawful good Ray Palmer will swing a little more neutral, thanks to Captain Cold's influence. But no surprise here, moving on to number one WTF, Vandal Savage is able to kill Hawkman, absorb his essence, and they make away with Hawkgirl before he can kill her. So it's this big call to action for Hawkgirl's character. 
I wasn't feeling a lot of their scenes in episodes one and two. I feel like this is the right thing to do. And the producers did confirm that that was their intention all along. Like, for, from a story perspective, this was the right thing to do. And because it's a time travel show, Hawkman is not off the show indefinitely. He's listed on IMDb in all 16 episodes, but they said that the way that we will continue to see Hawkman will conform to the logic that they presented. Like, they can't go back and save Carter. So if we see him again, it will be a Carter from a different time period. I'm going to think of him as the Kenny of the show now. You killed Hawkman, you bastard. But I think they did a really good job of ending this episode on a bookend moment for the first episode because it's meant to be this two-hour pilot, so it's almost like a TV movie you could air on its own. I'm wondering if they plotted this out before the series had been picked up for 16 episodes. Like they wrote this and they're like, okay, we'll do this two-hour episode. If it doesn't get picked up, we'll just air it as this movie. It'll be this fun thing all by itself. But it got picked up, so they tee up the next episode at the end. Episode 3 is going to be something of a bank heist. So think time traveling Ocean's Eleven. And it's not necessarily an easter egg, but there was this line Captain Cold had at the end that made me hallucinate Zoom. Barry's dad likes to fish a lot. Zoom also likes to fish with bait. That moment. Cut to Captain Cold saying, do we fish or cut bait? So it's not necessarily connected, but when all three of the writers' rooms, like Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Flash, all share the same hallway in their writers' rooms. So you could like literally walk out the door from the Flash TV show, like the writers could, and walk right into Arrow or Legends of Tomorrow. So now more than ever, I think it's really fun to listen to very similar sounding dialogue between characters. Just a fun game to play. I don't think what Captain Cold said had anything to do with who Zoom is. But because all of these shows exist in the same universe, I feel like some of this is intentional. So let me know in the comments, what was your favorite moment from the episode? And how do you think that we're going to see Hawkman next? Are we going to see him in a flashback? Are we going to see him alive, but it's going to be an earlier version of Hawkman from before he found Hawkgirl again? A really good example of them running into a past version of Hawkman would be the Jonah Hex episode when they go to the Wild West. I know everybody's really pumped about Jonah Hex, but the really big news is that Stephen Amell just confirmed that we're going to see in episode 6, we're going to see an old version of Oliver Queen and Connor Hawk. But the really cool thing is that old Oliver Queen will only have one arm like he did in Frank Miller's Dark Knight Returns. Hi, recently announced news. I'm going to be appearing on episode 106 of Legends with the goatee, one arm, and we're going to meet Connor Hawk. The lesson is always, never say never. I don't know necessarily that they're doing a Dark Knight Returns version of the character. It's just that he will have one arm. So there'll be some Easter eggs for Dark Knight Returns. But congratulations to this week's Reverse Flash Ring giveaway winner, Steven Baskerville. Be sure to private message me on the back end of my channel for contact details. Because I started a new round of the giveaway in this episode, I'll just announce the winner for that whenever I post my next DC video. There was a little bit of new Wonder Woman footage, but I, I might do some Suicide Squad, Batman v Superman related things this weekend. So look out for that. There'll also be some Game of Thrones tomorrow too. I'm really digging Legends of Tomorrow so far, but I think it's going to be a while before we find out about Season 2. While you guys wait for my next video to post, you can click here for the Deadpool teaser video that I just posted. Funny montage of characters getting hit in the nuts. And you can click here for this week's Arrow and Flash episodes. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.